So I hope nakatulong yung dalawang klase ng method natin, yung Mendel method and then the other one is the linear interpolation. Sa decile, which is the second type of position natin, pag sinabing decile, dividing it to 10 equal parts. Kung kanina, 4 equal parts, ngayon 10 equal parts, magkakaroon tayo ng 9 score points para may divide ang set of data into 10 equal parts. We will be using the D sub 1, D sub 2, up to D sub 9 for the 9 score points. And we are going to compute also the same way as the quartile using the Mendel's method. And the other one is the linear interpolation. Okay. Example or illustration muna tayo. Pag decile kasi, if in case these are the given set of uh, data, and from that, nadidivide yung set of data na yon, yung kulay red na yan, into uh, 10 equal parts because of the decils 1 to decils 9. And it means, pag sinabing decils, these are the 9 values of the variable that can divide the data into 10 equal parts. We will be using this formula. Kung kanina, sa Mendel's and Cisnet's method, Ang position na kinukuha sa quartile ay divided by 10. Pagdating naman sa decile, divided by... Uh, uh, what I mean, pag sa quartile kanina, divided by 4. Pag decile naman, divided by 10 tayo. Yun lang yung pagkakaiba. Again, pag quartile, divided by 4. Kapag uh, decile, divided by 10. And the value of k to be needed is 1 to 9. Kasi nga... It divides the entire set of data into 10 equal parts kapag maglalagay ka ng 9 positions. And the value of n is again the total number of cases or ilang elements pa yung nasa data natin. Set of data natin. Okay, example. We will be using the Mendel's method or the Mendel-Holtz method. Nagkamali tayo kanina sa pagbanggit. Ano? It should be Mendel, Mendel-Holtz method or Mendel Mendel Hall and Sinsets method to find the fourth decile. Okay, again, uh, we will be using the previous formula to our decile method or decile position. So, we are given 30, 35, 42, 40, 28, 15, 23, 33, 30, 18, and 28. And with that, paano kukunin yung decile 4 or the 4th decile? Again, i-arrange muna natin. So, ito na yung mga yun. We will be applying the formula. We have D of 4 or 4th decile is equal to 4 over 10 because our K is 4 and our value of N is 10. And 4 over 10 times 11 is equal to 44 over 10 or that simplifies to 4.4. Or, nag uh, run off tayo into 4. Again, hanapin natin yung 4th position. Makikita natin dun sa set of data natin that the 4th uh, position in ascending order is makikita natin dito na si 23 ang lumabas dito. Ito yun. And that 23, pag interpret natin, 40% of the students get the score of less than or equal to 23 or higher than that, these are the greater than 23 or the 60% of the set of data or students natin. Okay, how about this problem? Find the third and the ninth deciles of the given data from the social networking activities of 14 respondents. So, 14 is the value of n. Later on, makikita natin. And the following data lists are in, in given amount of time. We have uh, a certain respondent, sabi niya, 100 minutes daw ang nagagamit niya kada araw in having the social networking activities. Samantalang iba ay 112, ang pinaka malaki is 240 minutes. So, with this given problem, na-arrange na siya so hindi na natin siya i-arrange for a first step of the solution so again the value of n is equal to 14 ilolocate na natin dalawa yung problems natin we have the third decile and the ninth decile 
concentrate tayo dito sa third decile. Again, divided by 10 kapag decile ang pinag-usapan and the value of k here is 3 because we are we are referring to the third decile and substitute the value of n which is 14 kaya magiging 14 uh, plus 1 dito uh, and 3 over 10 of 15 and then 3 times 15 is 45 45 over 10 is 4.5 so therefore round up tayo magiging 5 yan so from that 5 yun yung gagamitin natin yung fifth position so our fifth position here is actually 155 and that is our third data of our third decile okay samantalang yung ninth decile natin is again we will substitute 9 dito for the value of k and in the long run you will arrive at 135 over 10 that simplifies to 13.5 which is rounded off to 14 so hanapin natin yung 14 position or obviously it's the 240 still okay and other interpretation or exact interpretation we have uh, to consider this one since the given uh, third decile from the third decile nakita natin na 155 minutes yung lumabas ibig sabihin doon 30% of the respondents were involved in social networking with at most 155 percent ah 155 minutes or 30% ng mga nag-social networking activities ay nagkakaroon ng 155 minutes or lower. Or, in other words, the remaining 70%, okay, these are the higher than the, are uh, higher than 155 minutes. Yun yung mga taong uh, gumagamit ng internet ng more than 25 minutes, sila ay around 70% of the total respondents. Pagdating naman sa decel 9, makikita natin dito na nailocate natin sa 240 minutes or parang nandun sa huling data ng ating set of data. No? So with that, to interpret, 90% of the respondents were involved in social networking or at most, or in short, 240 or less sila yung mga 90% of the respondents. Kapag 10% naman, ito yung mga uh, respondents na gumagamit ng internet with at least 240 minutes per day. So, there are certain imaginary measures na hindi lang dito sa mga given set of data natin. Okay. How about the percentile? So, uh, this will be the last type now. So I do hope that uh, you're having a productive uh, learning from our video lesson. Let us go to the last part, which is the percentile of um, for the ungrouped data. Percentile, we are referring to 100 uh, groups. Uh, kung i-illustrate natin, mahirap natin illustrate lahat ng mga percentiles dito from percentile 1 up to percentile 99. Pero kung titignan natin yung illustration dito, ang percentile 10 ay pareho lang sa decile 1. Ang percentile 20 ay pareho lang sa percent de decile 2. Ang percentile 30 ay pareho lang din sa decile 3. And so on and so forth. Because the percentile 10, kapag percentile kasi over 100 tayo, 10 over 100 is just the same as 1 over 10 pagdating kay decile. Also, from percentile of 90 or 90 yet percentile, that is 90 over 100, or sa decile naman, that is 9 over 10. Kaya pareho lang din ang result nila sa dalawang methods na gagamitin mo. So, from our illustration, let us go to a certain formula. Kasabi ko kanina, pag percentile ang pinag-usapan, it should be k over 100, wherein the value of k is 1 up to 99, and the value of n again is the total number of cases or the, the elements in our given set of data. Tandaan natin yung formula yan. 
and we will be applying the Mendelhall and Sinchet's method to find the 30th percentile or the P, P sub 30 of the following test scores of random samples of 10 students. We are given 35, 42, 40, 28, 15, 23, 33, 30, 18, and 28. So, ganito yung step natin. Uh, first is to arrange Nakikita nyo dito, we have 15, 18, 20, 23, 28, 28, 33, 35, 40, and 42. And the value of n is equal to 10. So, next is to locate. So, pagdating dito, over 100 tayo, on 30 over 100 times the quantity 10 plus 1, or 30 over 100 times 11, and 33 over 100 is equal to 3.3, or that is... Uh, rounded off to 3, kaya napin natin yung third position, that is the 20 in our ascending order. And from that, pag interpret natin, the position of our 30th percentile is actually the third data element from our set of data. Kaya, meron tayong... 30% of the students got the score of less than or equal to 20. Again, ito yung uh, third position natin. Ibig sabihin niyan, uh, 30% of the uh, top or of the students got the score of less than or equal to 20. And in other words, the remaining 70% these are the students who got the score of greater than 20. So that's how we interpret the things a percentile. And what if we have this one? Again, we will be applying the Mendelhall and Sensets method to compute for the 15th and the 80th percentile of our given set of data, which is which are the weights of uh, students in a class we have 69 70 75 66 up to 77 here so from step number one ang gagawin once again is to arrange everything into highest to lowest or ascend ano, lowest to highest or ascending order so 52 will be the first and then 88 will be the highest from that nakita natin that the value of n is equal to 15 so, 15 will be uh, the value of K. So, 15 over 100 or quantity N plus 1. Substitute the N which is uh, 15 also. Nagkataon. So, with that, 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. Multiply. Divided by 100. So, that is 2.4 or rounded off to 2. So, therefore, this will be the uh, 15. 10th percentile natin okay na magiging value ng ating P of 15 okay or the position of P of 15 which is the second kaya yun yung kinuha natin value pagdating naman sa 88 88th percentile dito natin makukuha sa 88 over 100 times 15 plus 1 hanggang sa mag arrive tayo sa 14 so, bilangin natin ang number 14 is 83 or to interpret, ito na may mga yun, na kung saan 15% of our students get a score of uh, less than or equal to 57. Pabalik tayo, ito yung tinutukoy natin 57. Ibig sabihin nun, mayroong 15% of the students ay mayroong bigat na uh, lower or exacto sa 57. Pagdating naman sa P of 88, ibig sabihin nun, 88% ng mga estudyante ay merong bigat na uh, merong bigat na 83 uh, kilograms. Okay? 83 kilogr at 83 kilograms from that, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, interpretation na uh, other interpretation rather na 12% of the students get a score of greater than 83. Okay. Yun yung mga examples natin. We still have one which is this. Given the set of data below, 
find the 45th percentile using the interpolation data. So, para makompleto yung package sa uh, dalawang method natin, balik natin ng interpolation method of uh, dealing with the percentile. So, given the set of data, we have 12, 5, 7, 1, 10, and 3. Arrange everything. That's our step number one dun sa tinatawag nating ALSMA. Sulat natin yung acronym natin. Sa ALSMA natin, ALSMA. Ito yung A natin, na-arrange na natin. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. Sa locate naman, ito yung locate natin. I-substitute natin dun sa formula na 45 over 100 times quantity 6 plus 1. Yung 6 na ito, galing yan sa value ng N natin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kaya 6 plus 1 yan. Hanggang sa mag-arrive sa 3.15 na position so tapos na tayo sa locate okay kung ilolocate natin, titignan natin yung 3 na position, ito yon. gagamitin kasi natin yan pagdating kay S or subtract gagamitin natin yung 4th position for rounding off kay 3.15 yan, we still need to consider the next to that third position which is the 7 which is this. Gagamitin natin yan. So, we are done with the subtraction. So, ito yung subtraction part. Na, ano, pansamantalang kinukuha natin. We have uh, the third subtracted from the fourth. So, dito magmumula yung S natin. Sulat natin yung S. Yung S na yan, galing yan sa 7 and then the 5. Yung 7 dito, this is the 4th position. Yung 5 dito, this is the 3rd position. We are done with the S. Punta tayo sa M, which is to multiply. Pag multiply natin yung result ng subtraction kanina, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2, multiply natin yan dun sa remaining portion ng nakuha natin dun sa locate, which is the 0.15. So, 0.15 times 2, Nagmumultiply na tayo, the result there is 0 0.3. That 0 0.3 will be added from the result of 5 or yung tinatawag na third position na nakuha natin sa locate. So, ang third position natin kasi is 5 from the 3, 0.15 dito. Yung 3 or the third position again, which is 5, idadagdag natin dun sa result ng multiply, which is the 0.3, so, therefore, nagkaroon tayo ng 5.3 dito. Or, to interpret, ito yung mga yun, 45% of the given set have a data of less than or equal to 5.3. And the remaining 55% to complete the 100%, 55% of the set of data, or 55% again for the set of data are greater than 5.3. So with that, I hope na pag-aralan mo, nakuha mo yung paraan ng pagkuha or pag-solve ng mga iba't ibang klase ng measures of position. We have the quartile, we have the decile, and the last one is what we call as the percentile. So with that, uh, thank you for listening and have a good day.